So welcome to this week's vlog. This week I was faced with a bit of a dilemma. Cold, wet, rainy day in Brisbane. What do I do? I thought what better place to come to than Lamington National Park, right up near O'Reilly's Guest House, right up in the uh, hinterland, in the Gold Coast hinterland. I thought, overcast, rain, no better place to be, to be than chasing waterfalls, and that's where I'm going today. So come on with me, let's head on into Alabama Falls. Okay, so welcome. This is Elevana Falls. Absolutely stunning falls. Uh, really worth the, the drive to get here. It's taken me about three hours. It's about an hour and a half drive. Then about an hour and a half of walking to get in here to Elevana Falls. Easy walk to get in. It'll be a tough walk on the way out. The scene in front of me is very, very simple composition. There's not too many other compositions to do here. There's really stock standard one or one stock standard to do. Um, I'll have a bit of another look around and see if I can get something else, but I can't. I, I can't see too many compositions here. Um, what I do have is in the foreground, I've got these leaves which are circling around and around, which gives me a beautiful cat in the foreground. The middle or the, the bottom falls here, which is like three small falls, and then right at the back, I've got that big falls um, cascading down. I've got this tree that sort of frames a whole lot of it. I'm trying to go wide enough to get that in. Speaking of which, I've got my D500, my 17 to 55 2.8 mil uh, lens on the front. I did look to go wider with my 11 to, to uh, 16 mil, just too wide. On the front of that, I've got my Nissi polarizing filter. Uh, essential when you're in landscapes like this. There may not seem like a need for it, but there's a lot of reflection on these surfaces, even though it's muted light because it's all overcast, it's been raining all day. There's a lot of reflection off of these surfaces that I just want to cut through. Also, it gives you that really deep richness to the colors and the greens that are here. Um, I'm set up at the moment, obviously, in landscape mode. Four seconds at F10. Focusing on the middle falls, um, F10 should give me enough focus between all of it. Um, so I'll take that shot now and I'll I'll put it up for you. As I mentioned, just a stunning, stunning um, little fall. I'll put the image up for you now. That was close. Just have a look at this. How stunning is that? So this is this is Upper Elevana Falls. I won't take you through my setups and what I did and how I achieved it. Um, I'll just put the photo up for you. Uh, it's a little bit too slippery here and I couldn't take you guys out there. Um, I thought, think you guys saw me fall over on the way up anyway. If you, do yourself a favour, if you're ever in this area, come on out here. O'Reilly's. There's a guest house up here. It's a, it's a beautiful guest house. 
and this place is absolutely stunning, only an hour and a half, hour and a half walk from O'Reilly's. Okay, so different location, different clothes, uh, different day. Completely forgot uh, to film an outro for the previous video at my last location, so I thought I'd come on down to a local park today, just film one for you. I had a lot of fun making that video. Uh, it's not something I would normally do in terms of the style, uh, but it is something that, uh, that I'm sort of growing into, and I think that's the, he the way I'll head. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think of the new style, um, and please, if you, if, if you so wish, subscribe to the video, hit the notification button, and I'll see you next week.